One day in August, I decided to explore two beautiful villages in Mallorca and one of the best sunset spots in Mallorca. First, I visited Valdemosa. Valdemosa is one of the most visited villages in Mallorca. It is 25 to 30 minutes to arrive by car. Also, it is well known for a place where a famous composer shopping stayed with a French author George Sand. I will show you around beautiful Valdemosa. People in Valdemosa worship a very special saint. She is Santa Catalina Thomas. That is why every house in Valdemosa has a tile of Santa Catalina Thomas. Also, people in Valdemosa like to decorate their house with beautiful flowers and plants. This is my favorite spot to make photos. Also, you can find a beautiful, friendly street cats in Valdemosa as well. As I told you already, you will find lots of beautiful plants that make you fall in love with Valdemosa even more. Being surrounded by beautiful plants and flowers made me so happy like a kid. If you walk to this street, you will see a bench where I, I sit now. In front of the bench, you will see lots of flower pots. If you keep following the flowers, you will get to Iglesia de San Bartomeu. It looks quite humble on the outside, but it's really beautiful inside. I recommend going inside to check it out. Admission fee is free. After visiting the church, we headed to the viewpoint of Alemosa. It's a great place to take a look at beautiful Valdemosa village. This is Cartusha Monastery where Chopin stayed. After the little Valdemosa tour, I went to Can Molinas to eat famous Mallorquin pastry called Coca de Patata. Can Molinas sells lots of delicious Mallorquin artisan pastry and cakes that is made in traditional ovens. I ordered a typical pastry of Valdemosa called Coca de Patatas, cheese and bacon bread, and Mallorca's traditional pastry called Ensaimada. The second beautiful village I visited in Mallorca was Soyer. When we arrived in Soyer, we met another cute street cat taking a nap in the afternoon. We headed to the center of Soyer village. We got to see Iglesia de San Bartomeu of Soyer. Luckily, we saw a trend between so Porto de Soyer and Soya Village. The reason I came to Soya Village is to see these colorful umbrellas in front of the church. It was even more beautiful to see in person with the sound of beautiful church bells. It was so magical. After seeing these beautiful colorful umbrellas, I walked to the commercial center street in Soyer Village. There are literally everything. There were a wine shop, a butcher shop, a Mallorquin handcraft shop a bakery a shop where you can buy a local food products clothing shops a fruit shop the street of Soye wasn't so busy like other years it was a hot day but everybody was wearing a mask just like me the pandemic has changed so many things in our lives. As I was wandering around Soyer, I found dried chili peppers. I'm a huge fan of peppers, so I went inside the shop to check it out. This shop was selling Mallorca's local food and drink products. This is fouet, uh, different flavored vinegar, olive oil from Soyer, Mallorca's traditional herbal drink, and orange and lemon drink and almond drink. I've never seen so many kinds of drinks in Mallorca. There was a terrace in the backyard. It was really cute and we are the only people staying there. It was perfect. They were selling beer, uh, water, sangria and other drinks. So I ordered a bottle of water and a beer. This is Mallorcan beer Losa Blanca. You should really try it when you come to Mallorca. After the drink, we headed to Porte de Soyer. Porte de Soyer is only 5 to 10 minutes away by car. This is a train station of Porte de Soyer. And we're really hungry, so we headed to No Name Restaurant. We ordered a glass of wine and some olives and bread. And we try uh, different kinds of ceviche, and they're really, really good. After that, we wander around uh, Soyer. It was really relaxing. I really loved it. The sun was going down. We drove to Safrodada to see the sunset. 
Safrodada is one of the first places in Spain to see the sunset. I thought there wouldn't be so many people due to the pandemic, but no, I was wrong. It was really crowded with people who wanted to enjoy the beautiful sunset of Safrodada, Mallorca. Luckily, we could get in to see the sunset even closer. The color of the sea, the sun, and the sky were so magical. It was such a beautiful way to finish the day in Mallorca. I hope you enjoy seeing beautiful Valdemosa, Soya Village, Borde de Soyer, and the sunset of Safaradada. Thank you for watching my video, and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!